Hi friends, welcome to Melissa's Musings. I'm so excited today to be coming to you from workout clothes because I woke up this morning and so um, the way that this morning is going or the way that today is going, John is handling our open house with our amazing agent Morgan and I am fully committed to getting caught up on our accounting. <laughs> Believe me, I would much prefer to be at the open house. Oh my goodness. So I have been diving deep and getting down and dirty with some really fun accounting. But I was just thinking right now as I was like, I'm literally already getting sore from my workout this morning, which is amazing. I'm so excited. Because ultimately I woke up this morning, I was initially feeling a little tired and I was planning on yoga at 8 a.m. And I texted Therese and I was like, hey, you want to go to yoga? And she was like, no, I'm going to the gym with John at 8. And I was like, ooh, there's a class at 9.15 for yoga. Do I go to the gym at 8 with John and Therese? And I'm not going to lie, you guys, immediately started talking myself out of it. Oh, well, what if you have to go to the bathroom while you're there? What if you get a stomach ache? Oh, uh, you haven't worked out in like over a year. What if it makes you too tired? What if then you can't get into the accounting that you have to do? Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh my God, shut up. Ego conversation, the voice inside my head, that freaking little monkey. I was like, oh my goodness, be quiet. And I was like, I'm going to the gym. <laughs> I was like, give me two minutes. I'm going to be ready. I, of course, put on my winter circle swag because John and I don't go to the gym or to yoga without sporting Steel San Diego's or winter circle. And I made it to the gym. And I was so excited just to be there. Like, literally, that's the space that I held for myself. Trace was like, what do you want to do? Do you have any specific workout? I was like, no. I don't have any expectation for myself. I am so excited to just, to, just to be at the gym. And I, my only commitment is to sign up. So I signed up. And then I went and I did a bunch of weights. I did some squatting. And, like, did a couple different things. And I will not lie to you guys. I was looking at myself in the mirror. And the whole time, I was like, look at your skinny arms. <laughs> or like, wow, everybody else has much larger weights. Like, that guy's pulling 50s, and here you are struggling with your fives. And like, what was so interesting to me is how in tune I am to that voice at this point, because I was like, Psh, shut up. My arms are so strong. Like, Psh, that guy looks like he lives here. I haven't been here in a year. <laughs> and like, really combating that conversation. But when you're not in tune with that conversation, that little monkey in your head will talk you out of all the powerful shit in your life, all the commitments that you want to make for yourself. So when you're in tune with yourself and you're familiar with that little voice that comes out and is just a little shithead for all of your goals, you can fully step into, I hear you, I see that. Yes, my arms are skinny, but they're going to be loaded with muscle in no time. Like... <laughs> You can easily combat it. Thanks, Rocky. I am going to be a beast in no time, like for sure. Um, but what was so powerful was, one, how, that, how strong and how loud that conversation was. My self-judgment, if I had been listening to it or I had been open to hearing it, I probably wouldn't be going back to the gym <laughs> anytime soon. Because if I'm in comparatitis or, you know, like, comparing um, myself to other people who literally like have been to the gym every day for the last year, it's not supportive to my success and it's also not supportive to my workout, right? So I got in my own space, literally every time I heard a negative thought kind of trickle into my mind space, I was like, Psh, and I banished it with a positive one. So literally as I was, you know, like doing amazing, very strong curls with my five and seven and a half pound weights, my body, like at times, was like, oh, like I was straining myself almost to do it. And I was like, you are so committed. You are so strong. And like every time I noticed myself in the mirror, if a self beat up conversation came up around how skinny I was, like, and how, how skinny I felt like I looked in the mirror, what a perfect opportunity to be like, you are so strong. Your health journey has come so far. And so what I did was I shifted every negative conversation that showed up for me into a positive. And it was really transformative. And I actually read something just yesterday about how we so often, oh my goodness, I'm like, what is on my floor? And it's literally a slug. I'm like, what is this crawling across my floor? And it's a slug, you guys. How did you even get in here? Were you on my flop? Oh my goodness, how weird. <laughs> I feel like 
is it okay to touch them? Can I touch it, you guys? Um, I'm gonna put him back outside. Clearly he's lost, um, and Boots is gonna eat him if I don't do something with him soon. So anyways, I was so committed to my workout, I did not bash myself at all. Instead, I shifted every conversation that I had into a positive one. And then when I was done with the gym, I went to freaking yoga. <laughs> so accomplished today, you guys. I'm just like so in my positive conversation. Even though I struggled and was shaking during some of the yoga poses because I had just come from the gym, again, I was just like, this is my inhale, this is my exhale, right? Because that's what I'm committed to in yoga. That's literally the only thing I'm committed to in yoga, my breath. I don't have to hold the poses if I'm not feeling it, whatever. But I pushed myself today. And even though my my arms, my amazingly strong arms were like shaking and like I was freaking out a little bit, I felt fully supported by my body and I was so pumped to be in that space. So just know you guys that whether your goal is to get to the gym or to do something specific on your goal sheet, maybe it's to do accounting today because like literally that's the my one thing and I am creating every excuse under the sun to do it. I had a client call me to write an offer and I immediately was like, oh yes. And I pulled up my <laughs> my other computer screen, started writing the offer and I was like, oh no, Melissa, this is totally a distraction from the accounting because you don't want to be doing the accounting right now. And I texted my client and I was like, hey, I'll be done with what I'm working on in about two hours and we'll get the <laughs> offer over to you for signatures then because I'm committed, right? But if we allow ourselves the space, we will always talk ourselves out. And it was such a great reminder today that everybody starts somewhere. We so easily will talk ourselves out of things oftentimes. All right, that's it. I'm just going to save this little guy because now he's like literally trying to get outside. Okay, you're going to... Ew, he's gooey. Oh my goodness, this is really gross. Okay, I'm going to not touch him until I'm done with you guys because then I need to wash my hands. This is gross. Sorry, friend. Hold on. <laughs> I'll be with you in a moment. So often, especially those with perfectionist tendencies, have a certain way that we want things to look. We have an expectation. So had I listened to my perfectionist tendencies, I probably would have done like at least a month of working out prior to the gym so that I didn't look so weak when I got there. Because I have this image of what like the perfect bot is supposed to look like, which is such bullshit. So know that a lot of times our perfectionism, our expectation of the way something's supposed to look we are our own biggest enemy when it comes to getting things done and we're often what's holding us back. We're often the biggest boulder. We're often the conversation or the story that we're talking ourselves out of something for. So just know that. Know that everybody starts somewhere. All morning I've been like, coming from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> like, I was like pumping my arms. I was like, oh coming from the bottom, now I'm here. <laughs> and like, that's been such a perfect example too in our business. Now the team's here. Now we're able to positively influence the team on a daily and weekly basis because we're accomplishing what we want to be and we're letting go of the perfectionist conversation or how it's supposed to look. So hopefully I inspired you guys. I'm gonna save this snail and bring him outside. <laughs> I love you guys. I hope you're having an amazing, amazing Mother's Day. I literally just forgot until this moment it was Mother's Day. I've already called my mom, but like I feel like this musing should have been about moms. Sorry, mom. Maybe I'll do one tomorrow. My mom is amazing. The women in my life are amazing. I have a fantastic, beautiful grandma, aunt, and mother-in-law in addition to my amazing mother. And I'm so grateful and fully supported by them all the time despite me being a little bit of a crazy child. And... Uh, often running with my ideas to the point where my family and my moms are like, the moms in my life are like, amazing, are you sure? <laughs> so I love the moms in my life. Happy, happy Mother's Day. Thank you so much for being who you are to me and to everybody around you. You are, ugh, the older I get, guys, the more that I really have such a valuable appreciation for my mother because I feel like I'm not ready to have my babies yet. <laughs> I'm like, wow, mom, the level of sacrifice and the level of commitment and the level of everything that you gave up for us. So that's where I'm at on Mother's Day, but I apologize that this musing was not about that. Oh, where is my snail? Oh, okay. I apologize that this musing was not about that. It was about coming from the bottom. Now we're here. I'm just feeling so muscular and so on fire from my workout. But I love you guys. I hope you're having an amazing weekend, spending some fabulous time with your moms. I'm about to hop on some FaceTimes right now. Love you.